Now let us discuss what does the question look like. First, you will be given one or more bar graphs or line graphs. The task is to describe the information given in the graph by writing a 150 word report. Candidates are assessed on their ability to firstly organize, present and possibly compare data. Second, describe the stages of a process or procedure. Third, describe an object or event or sequence of events. And lastly, explain how something works. You are not asked to give your opinion. Do not include your opinion, imagination or solution. This is a report based on the graph. You will be reporting to someone who has not seen the graph about the information it imparts. A few phrases that sound something like, I think that must not be used. How much time should I spend on task 1? You should spend around 20 minutes on the task. The task is time sensitive. The next writing task is 250 words, so you will have to be precise with reporting information in this task. The general format for writing academic writing task 1 is as follows. Introduction followed by the body, which includes the basic or general trends, with important details mentioned and finally a conclusion. The introduction should describe the purpose of your report and say what overall trends you see. The body should describe the most important trends but in a very crisp and economic use of words. For example, if there is a graph that has two peaks, you should mention them, tell when those peaks appeared and what peaks values are. The conclusion should sum up the global trends shown on the graph and compare them if possible. It is also known as summarizing. What are some of the challenges that you might face? First, including a range of appropriate vocabulary. The vocabulary used to describe graphs is very specific. So we need to focus on using the appropriate words at the appropriate times. Second, meeting the word limit requirements. It is best to keep within the word limit specified in order to get a good score. Third, describe the whole graph adequately. The information you provide about a graph should be concise to keep within the word limit as well. You will have to stick to the topic. Fourth, focusing on the important trends presented in the graph information. If there are particular trends in the graph, they have to be stated in your report accurately too. It does sound like a lot, but with a little practice and some forethought, it will be walk in the park.